Adam, men, adamlar, men, plural. Adamlarım, my men. Adamlarım, la, with my men. <gülüyor> Kendine gelmeye başladı. Kendine gelmeye başladı. He started to come to his senses. Now kendine alone means to himself. Gelmeye from gelmek to come. Gelmeye here we have the e because we have the verb. Başlamak. Başlamak means to start. Başladı. The is in the past. He started to come to his senses. This is how we say it according to the scene that we just saw. Demek uyandın. Demek uyandın. So you woke up. Now, uyandın, as we said before, the is the past. And N, the letter N is you. You woke up. Now, demek alone, if you want to translate it, it will give the meaning of it means. Also, if we want to take the verb, demek means to say. Now, here, as it is, demek uyandın. We translate it as, so you woke up. For now, more than 70 plus PDF files will be yours if you decide to get your own copy of the Turkish PDF files that I have on my channel. This is not all. You will also receive the future PDF files whenever I upload a new video to my channel. So for now, they are 70 plus and you will also get access to the new files that I will add in the future. If you're interested, click on the link in the description box below. Gel hele. Bir iki lokma bir şey ye. Gücünü topla. Gel hele. Bir iki lokma bir şey ye. Gücünü topla. Meaning, come on, eat a bite or two, gather your strength. So, gel hele. He said it fast. It means come on. So, you have to translate it. You have to uh, know the meaning as it is. Come on. Nowadays, we don't use it a lot. We say, hi di gel. Which means come on. Bir, one, iki, two, lokma means bite. Bir şey, a thing, ye is the order, it means eat. So eat, a bite or two. Why, topla means to gather, or it means gather, the order, topla, from toplamak to gather, but topla, means, uh, topla alone means gather. What? Gücünü, your strength. Güç means strength, but here we have a vowel after the ç, so it turns to j, which is the letter c. Gücünü topla. Gather your strength. Bana anlatacak çok şeyin olacak. Bana anlatacak çok şeyin olacak. Meaning, you'll have a lot to tell me. Bana to me. Anlatacak. You will tell. Or anlatmak means to explain. But here we, we change the meaning a little bit. Anlatacak. You will uh, tell, yes, in the future, because ajak means the future. It represents the future. Chok, a lot shayin, from shay, which means thing, it passed before, olajak, will be. Translation of the whole sentence will be, you'll have a lot to tell me. Sana söyleyecek bir şeyim yok, Türk. Sana söyleyecek bir şeyim yok, Türk. I have nothing to say to you, Türk. Or it means I have nothing to tell you. And he said his uh, Turk, which means he, because he is a Turkish man. Sana to you. Söyleyecek. You see here we have ecek as before, like, like anlatacak. Acak, ecek represents, represents the future. Söyleyecek. Will say bir şeyim. Bir şey a thing. Bir şeyim. I will not tell you a thing. So the M here represents I. In English we don't have this. Uh, in English we say a thing. That I bought, for example. But here we have to put the M because this is Turkish and he's talking about him. So, bir şeyim yok. I don't have a thing. This is how it translated. I don't have a thing to tell you. In other words, I have nothing to, to tell you, to say to you. O kadar emin olma. Benim acelem yok. O kadar emin olma. Benim acelem yok. O kadar that much. Emin means sure, all ma, or all means be. All ma, don't be, the M, A here is the negative. So, o kadar emin olma, don't be that sure. Benim acelem yok. I'm not in a hurry. So, here we say benim, mine. Acele means hurry or rush, yok. And you notice that we say acelem. I don't have 
or we don't translate it the same as in English because it's different. So I'm in no rush or I'm not in a hurry. Yes, this is the right translation. So don't be that sure. I'm not in a hurry. Sen konuşana kadar kardeşlerimle burayı mesken tutacağız. Sen konuşana kadar kardeşlerimle burayı mesken tutacağız. Now, let's start with the first part. Sen, you. Konuş means speak. The order from konuşmak to speak in primitive form. Ana kadar means until. This term, this thing that you will learn. Ana kadar, until. So, until you speak. That's it. Now, if you notice, I have two words here. Nowadays, we say kardeş, kardeş, lerim, le, with my sisters or with my brothers. But if you notice, he said kardeş, lerim, la. So, I think this is something that they used to uh, say before. Maybe the dialect, I'm not sure. So, but the right word is kardeş, lerim, le. Le here is with. Im is my, I. Kardeş means sister or brother. I didn't specify. Kardeş. Ler means the plural. If I want to translate kardeşlerimle, it means with my sisters or with my brothers, depending on who is sitting there. Burayı. Here, mesken tutacağız. Mesken tutacağız. Here means we will stay here. But let's translate each one alone. Mesken means residence. Tutacağız. Tutmak means to grab. But here... When we put these two words uh, together, we change the meaning. That we take the uh, what they mean in that situation. It means we're going to stay here until you speak, and that's it. Kim olduğunu bilmem. Tek derdimiz altındı. Kim olduğunu bilmem. Tek derdimiz altındı. I don't know who you are. Our only concern was gold. So, kim who olduğunu who you are. Bilmem, I don't know. So, M-E here is the negative M. The last M is I. B from bilmek to know. Bilmem, here is the negative. I don't know who you are. Tek, only, one. Derdimiz, our concern. Altın means gold. Altın, the, the past, was gold. So, here you notice that in Turkish we have the word and we put next to it a pa uh, the addition for the past. Present or future. Not like English, it's only with the verb. So, altın was gold. The translation would be, as you can see it now, I don't know who you are. Our only concern was gold. So, tag here, you can translate it also as only. That one, that thing, one only. Siz de çulsuz çıktınız. Yanlış kayaya çarptım. Siz de çulsuz çıktınız. Yanlış kayaya çarptım. You two came out broke, I hit the wrong rock. So, sis de. You two, sis because they are two, more than one. De means also, chulsus means broke. Chiknus, you came out. Nus, also for the sis. Yanlış, wrong. Kaya means rock, kaya ya çarptım. I hit the wrong rock. Beni öldürün de bitsin bu iş. Beni öldürün de bitsin bu iş. Kill me and let this be over. Beni, me, from Ben. Öldürün, he's telling, he's ordering them. It's like the order form, uh, which means kill. So, un here because they are two, and also now we use it for respect, but here because they are two. We have, as we said, two people, so we use un. We have Arturul and his, the one with him. Kill me, de. And, here it means an, bitsin, let it finish. Bu ish, this job. Translation, kill me and let this be over. The whole thing, this ish here, we don't have a job, of course, here. It means what they are, what's happening with them. Let this conversation be over, everything be over. Just kill me. Bu kadar kolay değil, it's soyu. Ölüm senin için kurtuluş olurdu. Bu kadar kolay değil, it's soyu. Ölüm senin için kurtuluş olurdu. It's not that easy, dog. Death would be salvation for you. Now, bu kadar that much. Kolay, easy. That easy. Değil, also we say değil or değil. It's not that easy. Because değil means not. Eat so you. Eat so you. As it is, dog. He's uh, like uh, calling him dog. Okay. So, soy and eat. We know that köpek means dog. 
it also means dog. Soy alone. If you want to translate it, it's like your ancestors. This is soy. Where you come from, where your family comes uh, comes from. This is soy. Ölüm, death. Senin için, for you. Senin, yours. But here, için, for. For you, kurtuluş olurdu, would be salvation. Okay, which you, you want that, it will be easy for you. Kurtuluş olurdu, so it means salvation. It would be salvation. All from, of course, almak to be. We translate it together. So, the meaning will be, it's not that easy, dog. Death would be salvation for you. Şimdi anlat bakalım. Seni peşimden kim gönderdi? Şimdi anlat bakalım. Seni peşimden kim gönderdi? Now tell me who sent you after me. Who sent you yes after me? So şimdi we use now nowadays we say şimdi which means now. Before they used to use şimdi. Anlat bakalım. Explain. Anlat means explain. Bakalım let's see alone. It means together. Now tell me seni, you, peşim, den, means after me. Okay, after me. Kim, who, gönderdi, gönder, send, gönderdi, sent. From, as we know by now, de, or di, or du, du, means uh, past. Now tell me, who sent you after me? Adamlarımla altın peşindeydik. Anlamaz mısın? 